Um, first we have the acetabulum where the femur head connects. Then we have the obturator foramen, this hole right here. And then right here we have the arcuate line. And then we this top portion from here up. So all of this is the ilium from my thumb up is the ilium. On top of the ilium we have the iliac crest. Um, where this rough area is connects to the vertebrae. So we know that's the posterior side. So this would be the anterior side. So right here we have the anterior superior iliac spine. Then we have the anterior inferior iliac spine. Then we go to the posterior side where the rough area is. Let me see. And right here we have the posterior superior iliac spine. And below that is a posterior inferior iliac spine. And then, so this back portion is posterior still. So then this back portion right here would be the ischium. So this whole area right here. Um, first we have the ischial tuberosity, which is this rough area right here, right next to the acetabulum. Then we have the ischial spine, which will be, I forgot. Oh yeah, thank you. This is the ischial spine. And right below the ischial spine is the lesser sciatic notch. Um, then we have on the back side where the acetabulum is, the ramus. And then we flip this back. So this, remember the rough part is posterior. So this will be anterior. And this anterior portion right here would be the pubis. And on the pubis we have the, what is that word? Sym the, the symphysis. And then we have the superior ramus, which is this area and then the inferior ramus, which is this area right here. And which side is that pelvic girdle? And so this is all the anterior side, <coughs> and um, this would be your right pelvic girdle, because once again, this connects to your vertebrae, and this should be, the pubis should be anterior. Awesome.